guys, welcome back to Northern Medical, and today I'm going to be um, showing you um, how we do our um, basic and advanced life support in multiple different episodes. So in this episode, we will be talking about CPR, um, basic life support, and um, vitals. So we're going to start off with um, CPR. So one rule, you do not want to give somebody CPR who doesn't need it because then it could cause further problems and they may actually need it and you will not know that. So to check for that, we're going to um, scream or say, hey, like this, hey, are you here? And you're going to feel their pulse right here or on this side like that, right here. So then we're going to do this really hard because that's very painful on the chest. And if that doesn't wake them up, we're going to listen for their airway. And then um, if that does not work, then that means we have to begin CPR. Now, to be for CPR, your hands must be one hand like this and the other hand like that. So that um, around the other hand. So then we place our hands on the chest and we begin CPR like this. So we're, we want to go at a rate of 120 beats per minute and two inches deep to be doing high quality CPR. So ready and here we go. It is also good to go at the rate of staying alive. This song, staying alive. Staying alive, staying alive. As you can see, I have two green lights. I mean, for one red one. And this is very tiring. So the weight is 30 compressions to every two breaths. So for the breaths, we will use a BVM, that stands for bag valve mask. And we do two breaths to every 30 compressions. So because doing mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathing can transfer diseases and bacteria, and it's just not safe. So if you don't if you don't have one of these, I would recommend a CPR shield. And I am CPR certified, and uh, this is not a certification class whatsoever. So I'm gonna take the mask, place it over their face, and do this. One, two, and then we are going to um, continue CPR. And go. Go at the rate of 30 compressions to two breaths, uh, five times or until help arrives. All right, and that is how you do CPR. And once the heart gets into a shockable rhythm, you will then use an AED. Now for um, vitals, so we're gonna talk about the stethoscope. The stethoscope is not applied this way. It is applied this way. So we will listen for the heart about right there. And then if we can't hear the heart, we can't hear the heart. So then um, we'll do blood pressure. So let's get out my blood pressure cuff, my blood pressure cuff, and my pulse ox. So for blood pressure, I'm using an electrical blood pressure cuff. And I have the attachments for the blood pressure cuff. So you take the blood pressure cuff and attach it right there. All right, and now it is attached. Then you wanna lift up your shirt and take the blood pressure cuff and put it right all the way up to your arm. But I can't fit it on because I have a jacket. And then you would press start and hold it up to your arm like that. It's starting, all right. And then here we'll go. And you can hear it, it's gonna get my blood pressure, but yeah. And it's going to get very tight. And that is how you do blood pressure. Let's take this off now. Now we're gonna talk about the pulse oximeter. So you're gonna click the button to turn on the pulse oximeter and then put the pulse oximeter on your finger just like that and just stand still. And that is our basic life support um, for CPR and vitals. All right, thank you guys for watching.